So, here's another short maintenance video. It's uh, getting close to spring in Sweden, so uh, yeah, thought it would be a good time to um, change the brake fluid before the bike season starts. This is a really easy process, takes maybe 5-10 minutes, cover up as much as you can. You don't want to get uh, brake fluid on any painted parts of your bike. You also need a screwdriver to open the brake fluid container up on the handle. And you also need this uh, 10 mm wrench to open and close the bleed valve. I'm also using a hose with a back valve. So as long as you get brake fluid past this valve here, you can just pump the fluid through without opening and closing the bleeder valve. Makes it a bit faster and less fiddly. Put one end of the hose into a bottle or container of some sort. Put the wrench on the bleeder nut and uh, attach the other side of the hose. I will also use a syringe to pull out the existing brake fluid from the container. Uh, you don't need to do this, it just makes it a bit faster. So you don't need to uh, push all the old fluid through the system. And also just covering up around the handle bar with some paper towels. And uh, yeah, I will use Motul 3 and 4 dot brake fluid. So works for both dot 3 and dot 4 the screwdriver and uh, take off the container lid and also pry up this rubber seal. Then I take the syringe and uh, suck up the brake fluid from the reservoir and I then fill up with new brake fluid. Then put the seal back on the reservoir because when you start pumping the brake lever it can squirt brake fluid out of the reservoir so uh, it's best to uh, put the cap back on. And uh, yeah, pump the brakes, hold it in and open the bleeder valve to get the fluid to uh, flow out. Close the valve again and you can release the brake. Again pump, hold it and open the bleeder valve. And uh, I just need to do this until it gets over this uh, one way valve on the hose. Once that point is uh, reached I can just uh, pump the brake lever. Then just don't forget to uh, check the container and fill up with new brake fluid so you don't run dry. Because then you have to flood through the system once again to get all the air bubbles out. But yeah, this is just a repeat. Pumping out old fluid, check the reservoir, fill up with new brake fluid. And continue do this until you only see clear brake fluid going through the hose. Then you are all set. And uh, what you do then is um, you fill up to the marking inside the container or um, reservoir. Put the seal and uh, lid back on and then you close the bleeder valve, pull the hose off and uh, clean the valve. And then uncover the bike, check so you don't have any brake fluid anywhere on the bike. And uh, yeah, all set to break in the new season.